Kajabi has now built in a community within the Kajabi backend. I'm going to show you exactly how to build out your community inside Kajabi. Let's take a look. Just a reminder to check out ReviewOnlineCourse.com. It's a collection of all my software reviews, the pros, the cons of each platform to help you decide which one's right for you. And just remember, if you decide to use any of my links to trial platform like Kajabi, Thinkific, or Teachable, and so on, you get a free pair of Apple AirPods as my way of saying thank you. Check the description box below for more details. Anyways, back to the video. So in this video, you can see this is uh, the back end of the community and you can have videos linked in there. You can have images, you can have some, some GIFs or GIFs or whatever you call it. Um, so let's show you how to start that up. Hit the products button inside Kajabi, hit new product and you're going to choose community. Hit that get started built uh, button and go ahead and you can actually name it community or whatever you want. Hit the submit button. And then here's what you have. Now, it's just kind of cool because it's, it's laid out. This is your dashboard. You can actually see how many members, how many posts. You can check the, the days. It could be 7, 30. You can change that up a little bit. But by hitting this go to your community button, now you're going to see the actual community, like the, like the actual layout and the feed. I think that's a better word, the feed of the community. But before that, we do that, let's go to this edit details. And that way we can actually name the community. We can put some detail down there, a description of what the community is about. We can actually add a thumbnail. Um, we can use a logo if we want to kind of customize it a little bit. We can actually even change out the colors, you know, because there's certain people have different color schemes for the primary color and the accent colors. And then we can decide if we want them to see this homepage as a feed or if we want to be categorized with topics. Feed is very, very common to what Facebook is. It's just a feed that continuously scrolls. Topics are primarily like you can say um, golf slicing or um, golf shots or golf putting. And so you get an opportunity to kind of like categorize it like that. So if we look at this main menu, you can see you can have a nav bar or sorts of things right there. Let's pick this main menu and we head back and now we're back at the dashboard with community. And we can go down here to add topic because I was talking to you a little bit about topics. So let's say we have like a weekly Q and A. Could click that on the description. You can add another topic like announcements, and right there change the accent color so we can differentiate them. And so now we have two different colors, and now we have an ability to actually know, you know that there are two separate things, and we can categorize them that way. So if we take a look at the community dashboard. Right here, we have an option to see exactly what they want. The social links on the side, maybe a little bio about your products. And this is what they're gonna see at the sidebar of the community as they're scrolling. So you've got your feed, and then you have the sidebar to the right-hand side. So if we click the button, go to your community, this is how it starts, bare bones. There's nothing in here, we have zero posts. So let's change that. Let's create a post and show you exactly how that works. So if you click on add something here, you can add a topic, you can put something in here, you can image, video, or you can actually choose a link. So, and you can also make sure um, you can click this button and it will send that notification to all your members so everyone can get notified once you post, which is really cool because you have a lot of control over exactly what you want your community to see. So let's just say we actually um, categorize it with announcements. Now this is found in our feed and it's tagged announcements. Now people can comment and like that, but also if I go to topics, you won't see it under weekly Q and A, but you will see it under announcements. And that's because it is an announcement um, tag post. So that's another cool way to see the categorization of that. If you click these little hamburger dots over here, you can see you can unfollow the post, you can pin the post to the top, which actually means it goes to the very top so people can see it. You can copy that link to a post, you can edit it, or you can just delete it. So great controllability within your community to make it very much like a Facebook group. And everything is in house, which is really, really cool. So if we were to click on uh, announcements and we archive the topic, now it's gone. We can, just, we can just archive stuff and have it just disappear. And that's really cool. So you can kind of have control over saving it at a later date. Now, I will state that one of the things that I'm not huge on, the Kajabi community, because I love it and I use it frequently, 
it's one thing. I have a golf site where I have my members posting videos of their swing. And right now, as of the, you know, the date of this video, Kajabi does not allow you to directly upload a video onto your community feed. You have to have it externally linked somewhere like YouTube. So you'll have to upload the video on YouTube, have it hosted on YouTube, copy that link, and then paste that into the community feed inside Kajabi. It is my only real crux, my only little con that I have with this. If they could fix that, that would be a game changer. A lot of people don't necessarily need that. They just want discussion back and forth between their members. This is a perfect tool. Just sharing images and little gifts and things like that, perfect tool. But if you do need videos, you can still do it. You just need to actually have an external hosting um, platform as well. Uh, I would love it to actually just be able to go straight from your iPhone to the community tab. That's what I'm keeping my fingers crossed for. Once, community, once Kajabi does that, I think it's an unstoppable replacement to Facebook groups. I hope you enjoyed that video. Like, comment, subscribe, and also leave me some comments down below asking me any kind of questions. I love answering them. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.